Hey guys, it's Erty Talking. As you know, today I'm not reading, but giving my opinion about this book which just finished. But first, just saying the podcast, or however you want to call it, grew more than I expected. And seeing you guys following motivates me a lot, to be honest. Like, sorry for rushing in subchapters. Sometimes I just speed up without realizing. And also other times I realize I made a mistake pronunciating some words, even if I just keep going, you know. But in general, I feel that I'm improving on it, like my English is getting better and my pronunciation, to be honest, like I, I feel it. So, so far, I keep going with this little project and there's some books I'm really willing to read here, but good news. Despite that, I decided I will upload the second and the third part also, and from this book, you know, from the the air of the wind, the folk of the air, sorry. And later, I'll decide uh, what's next, you know, like the options I have in mind for now are the Traveling Cat Chronicles, which I read a bit of it, and it's actually pretty funny especially for cat, cat lovers like me or animals in general after that i'm planning to read a trilogy called the arc of the size i think it's called which for now i have just finished the first book today you know but for now is one of my favorite readings from this year due to its original plot and um, background also I want to read in Spanish, like I said in the beginning, and my first option is the Chronicles of Narnia, because I have them here in my room. But this doesn't mean I won't read them in English in on the future, like depends on if you are interested on listening or not. But also, don't worry, like you may be wondering uh, what will happen with the English books. But since it's a long series, the Chronicles of Narnia, I in intend to upload them like every second day alternatively with an English one that I will choose in the future because the others come first but of course as I said that's only a, the provisional list I have in mind which can still change you know but anyways thank you for sticking around and let's talk about my opinion of the book I'll try to be a little briefer on this, and sorry, I panic a lot when talking, sometimes, you know. <coughs> well, let's start. Like, I have some mixed feelings with this book. Like, for me, it was quite disappointing and probably one of the worst I've read from this genre, which I love. But... It had an empty plot most of the times, and generic characters with little to no personalities. Like, it was impossible for me to empathize with Jude, the main character, all along with her nonsensical decisions. Like, come on, teenagers tend to take wrong decisions, we all know that, but so many and that bad, hard to believe. <laughs> they aren't so stupid. Maybe growing up in the magical world of fairy had some consequences after all. But don't get me wrong, like, you know, I still enjoyed it. Like, even if I wasn't recording them, I would have read the whole series anyways, just to see how it ended up, because the plot is actually sort of nice. It's just the rhythm of from the book looked to me like they also lacked skill, like, you know, Nothing actually happens during most parts of the book, aside from description after description, which gets a bit too repetitive and without a bit, like, a lot <laughs> repetitive. When they describe the same 1044 gowns and dresses and necklaces and colors and whatever else, while in two pages our royal family is dead. Because, you know, Deus Ex Machina, like, some of the members from the family they only mentioned once, like, I had to go back to check if they actually talk about them or something and also like i'm a big fan of plot twists but they should be justified and with the turning well prepared for them like you could ha have expected them or or not but at least you could the um, the reader should should think after reading them all makes sense like yeah the, you got me well like but 
it it was di directing you into into that way. I probably had a, m a couple more things to tell, but I think I covered the main point and w I wanted, and I don't want to get longer like before. So the only thing I'm going to mention also is like. Uh, for sure I'm not the only one who has realized about these things and like come on uh, she made me like Madoc because at least he had a personality when he should be a hated character but anyways I hope not to have been too harsh and with this said um, I have higher expectations for the next parts with the story already begun even if it's just slightly better, you know, not so hard. So, we meet tomorrow. It's a date. And thank you for listening.